A new patch 1.8 for Assetto Corsa competition and not only changed physics, higher models and brought us a new car, it also changed the way custom liveries are implemented in the game. And in this video, you will find out everything you need to know about the new custom livery features in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Welcome to Bunatix, the community for sim racing beginners and enthusiasts alike. It seems until now, custom liveries were somehow tolerated by Kuno Simulazione in Assetto Corsa Competizione, but with patch 1.8, it seems they are finally taking a first step in like officially supporting custom liveries and optimizing the way they are implemented in the game. But this brings a couple of changes, but also a couple of challenges for many of the drivers out there who are not aware of the features of custom liveries. So, before we start and get into the details, let me just quickly recap what a custom livery is and how you create one in just a quick summary. So the way we start is we create our team in Assetto Corsa Competizione. We just pick a number, type in a name, choose a base color and save it. And then what we need to do is we go into the Assetto Corsa Competizione folder customs and then cars and just sort it by the date modified with the latest on top which means the car we just created and then we just open the file with the text pad and put in the folder name where we want to save our custom livery and after we did that we can actually work on our custom livery and save the pngs usually i would recommend you go with two separate layers which is uh, the diesel's png and the sponsor's png hold on a second I just said diesels, right? Okay, yeah. Decals uh, PNG and sponsors PNG. And we also want to include the materials JSON file for uh, the decals layer and the sponsors layer if you want to have a glossy matte or whatever. So this is actually everything uh, a custom livery consists of and we can already see it in the showroom. Now the big change with patch 1.8 is that the game creates so-called DDS files in the custom livery folders. So when you start the game with the patch and for the first time check a car with a custom livery in the showroom, you will notice that the game freezes because it is creating underscore zero dot DDS files. And if you jump into a game session, the game will freeze again because it creates an additional underscore one dot DDS files. Now the way this works is um, previously the game was just using the .png layers of custom liveries, which meant that in every public lobby and in every racing league and session that you joined, when people were joining in with a custom livery, the game stuttered, the game lagged, the game froze for everyone because of the game loading the custom liveries. Now this is actually the cool change which tells me that Kunos is finally accepting and supporting the use of custom liveries is these DDS files already compress and put the custom livery into the game so that it does not need to load the png files which means there are no more lags or freezes if you have those dds files of custom liveries that you want to use in the folders what that also changes now in terms of sharing custom liveries is that you should always include at least the underscore one dot dds file because this is the file the game creates for joining gaming sessions the underscore zero dot DDS files are just for the showroom use. You will also notice that for some players, it might create underscore two dot DDS files, which are compressed even more and lacking quality. And the reason for this is actually and unfortunately hidden in one of the config files in Assetto Corsa Competizione, which is called menu settings dot JSON. And you find this in the Assetto Corsa Competizione folder and then go into config. And if you open this file, you can see and search easily for uh, one thing, which is text cap. And when you find this, for most of the players, it will have value one, which means it's the usual resolution and the reason why the game creates the one dot DDS files. But you can change that to zero. And that means the game won't create this, the, the one or two DDS files. But if you want to compress your custom liveries even more, you can change the value to two so either zero one or two the highest compression is with two 
which means it's the smoothest uh, performance in gaming sessions, but it also means that you have really harshly compressed and not so good looking custom liveries in the game. Now with these DDS files, at first we thought this will completely change the way we have to create custom liveries because actually you were updating the PNG files, jumped into the game and it just reloaded the texture in the showroom. Now with DDS files, if you change the PNG, the game does not basically refresh and recreate the DDS file. So you need to go into the folder, delete all the DDS files if you changed your custom livery, and then jump into the game showroom again and load the car again, have the freezes again to then see the updates. But there is a solution for that. And this is also hidden in the menu settings.json file. If you look for the text DDS, which is usually set to one. And if you change that value to zero, the game will no longer create DDS files for you and you can rework and update custom liveries the way you are used to. Just be aware, doing changes in the menu settings JSON uh, file only work when the game is closed. So you need to just close Asset of Corsa Competizione, do the changes either for the text cap or for the text DDS and then save and then restart the game freshly. In terms of sharing custom liveries and also um, having a better performance, please set the text cap to one. Join a session in the game. It can be a single player session. Let the game create this, uh, the, the underscore one DDS files and then include those underscore one DDS files when you are sharing your custom livery so that people won't have any more join and freeze when you will not have any more freezes or lags when you join the session. Now, this also means that. You have a bunch of old hundreds, if not thousands, custom livery folders in your uh, Assetto Corsa Competizione directory. And that actually means it's the perfect opportunity to clean it all out. Because what we noticed is that all the custom liveries might look washed out, have really bad colors, or yeah, like look totally wrong in the showroom. And that is because we used to compress PNG files because of the freezes and join legs that we have. So you can actually, if those custom livery are from people you don't know anymore or have not provided an updated version, you can just completely delete them. So this is one of the most important outcomes right now. Do not compress your PNGs anymore because of the DDS files. There is no more reason to do that. Just save them uncompressed as at least a 32-bit PNG file, no matter if you use Photoshop, uh, which does it automatically or any other program. Do not use any file compression like TinyPNG or stuff like that because it will completely compromise the quality, wash out the colors or contrast and make the custom livery look weird. But even though we need to keep the custom PNG files in the custom livery, the game does not use them anymore once you created the DDS files. But deleting the PNGs is not a good idea because as soon as you delete the um, decals and sponsors PNGs out of the custom livery folder, even though the DDS files are in there, the game is not loading the, the liver anymore. So always keep them in there, even though the game is not using them anymore. They are there to create those DDS files and basically read the textures and keep the quality the way it is. There is also another option, which is actually directly working in the DDS files. And this is possible as far as I know only in Photoshop. If you install the Intel plugin and uh, you can find the plugin and a short guide I found online uh, linked in the description below. I have not tried that because working in DDS files um, can be exhausting on your system's performance. And there's actually no need if you use the trick with the text DDS Z to zero, which does not change anything in the way we are used to uh, when working on custom liveries. But um, if you want to try this and look how it is, um, feel free to install the plugin on your Photoshop and let me know how it works for you. So short summary, if you want to work in the custom liveries and change them the way they are right now, be aware that you need to head into your Assetto Corsa Competizione config folder open the menu settings and change the text TDS value to zero. And then you can work the way you're used to, make changes on the layers, save it as PNGs, refresh it in the showroom. And once you're really happy and finished with the custom livery, 
quit the game, change in the menu settings, chase on the text DDS again to one, restart the game, load delivery in the showroom, you will have a short freeze there. Join a single player session, you will again have a short freeze and then the game will have created the underscore zero and underscore one DDS files. If you want to then share the custom delivery, beware. Um, you actually do not need to share the underscore zero dot DDS because this is really just for showroom purposes. So include the JSON material files, include the PNG layers, and also include the underscore one DDS files from now on, please. So this makes the life of everyone much, much easier. No more freezing and join legs, and we can all enjoy a bunch of cool custom liveries in the game. And again, if you're maybe not running on a high-end performance system, you would want to compress uh, the custom livery files more, which is possible if in the menu settings JSON, you set the text cap to two, but be aware you then actually have to select the car with the custom livery you would like to compress and join a single player session as well to let the game create it. So I would actually recommend custom livery creators out there to use uh, both version, create just both underscore one and underscore two DDS files. Yes, it might be a bit more work for you, one or two clicks more and restarting the game one more with the uh, text cap set to two, but it would then give the option to people to either keep the underscore one or underscore two DDS files, depending on their system performance and how much quality they actually want to enjoy in the game. So the only thing left to do now is get creative, start working on some new custom liveries and uh, also update your previous liveries if you compress them so you can refresh the quality again and offer some really good experience. Liveries now with the 1.8 update and the new graphic options look better than ever in Assetto Corsa Competizione. And that was it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Ring the sub notification bell to not miss any of our upcoming content, tutorials and live workshops. There is a lot to do with custom liveries. I thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join our Sim Racing GP community to not miss out on our amazing and exciting community races that we are, are planning right now. There is a lot coming up also in the next year. So I hope I'll see you soon on track. Thank you so much again for your support and remember, stay safe out there.